Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Toy Chest Reviews, and I have a figure today. I just came back from the store. I actually have a couple figures, but uh, you'll see those later on in other videos. But for now, I have the WWE Elite China, the new one, the better one, the cooler one. Uh, my Target actually has both versions of China, but this one's a little bit cooler, I think. Uh, it looks a little meaner. We have this box here. Uh, it's actually, it's got a little scuff right there, but that's okay, because I don't keep my figures in the box. But if I did, this would be a decent box to keep it in. You have the DX logo right there, uh, covering up the WWE Legends, because this is a WWE Legends Elite. Uh, if you look on the back, you have all the other figures in the line. Uh, we might see one of these guys show up in another video later on. You have uh, China's bio. I'm not going to read all that. It Basically, she was in DX and her name is China. So, I think we're going to go ahead and get this bad boy or bad girl. That sounded gross. I don't forget I said that. Uh, we're going to get this opened up. And there you go. That's China. It's actually a pretty decent head sculpt. Uh, the other one that was in the store looked a little rough. Um, yeah, I was able to pick this up for, it was on sale for five bucks, so that's probably the only reason I picked up this figure. As much as I like China, uh, I just wasn't interested in this figure until it went on sale. And now that it went on sale, uh, I picked her up. It's actually a pretty decent figure. I'm actually really happy with it now that I got it home. It's... Knee is a little tight right there. Oh, but its hips a little loose. That's not a great combination. We'll have to give this a little fig bath. What about this leg? Oh, that one's really tight too. This one's tighter actually, but the hips not as bad. So I guess we'll go over some details on this figure. She comes with fist, uh, like punching fists, and two grabbing fists, both in gloves. I like those. Uh, she comes with this little jacket that you can take off to reveal her uh, wrestling attire. She would stand around in this shirt but when she actually got into the ring to wrestle. Wow, that's a pretty decent sculpt. She, oh, wow. She would uh, wrestle in this bra. And her little choker here, which is really cool. This is actually a pretty, pretty amazing figure. All things considered, I actually really like this. So she has, of course, typical double-jointed knees, um, which are, like I said, stiff. But I think the more you work with it, the better it will get. Uh, she does not have the double-jointed elbows. This is a little bit too old to have that. But it does come up pretty good, up to, up to 90 degrees, I think. Um... Good elbow articulation, nothing fancy here, it's just a basic figure. She doesn't really want to look up, her hair does get in the way of that. Can she look down though? No, her head's pretty much just stuck in this position. It can kind of rock a little bit, look left and right, but you're not going to see too much movement in the head if you want to pose it. She does have a uh, ab crunch right here. I'm not used to female figures, so... I, I don't know much about all the articulation that comes with them, so I don't know what's standard and what's not. Uh, I just don't collect them as much as I do other figures, but uh, she does have decent ab crunch, I would say. Not as good as the guys, but uh, it's a different method of ab crunching. This is actually more similar to the AEW figures, um, just without the uh, crunch right here, so you're missing a little bit of that articulation but overall it's still a pretty solid figure oh and i almost forgot to mention you of course have the boots that can twist around like that and oh, i don't usually do this because i've actually broken quite a few figures by trying to get the foot to pop down but they they do pop down they're supposed to i just don't typically do it just because i mean these are the most stiff things and the figure, usually. Um, so I like to leave those alone. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look at... Oh, this shoulder is a little stiff, too. Uh, it's a stiff figure, which I like. 
I respect the stiffness, but uh, it's a little scary at first because you don't want your figure to break. I've had plenty of figures where I think it's stiffness and then the arm just rips off. So we want to avoid that. It's a little scary, but I think we're going to be okay. Arms right there. Look at those biceps. She definitely was one of the more, um, what's the word? Uh, she had one of the most unique looks about her in the ring. I, I'd love to have somebody uh, who looks similar to her show up. Somebody with her sort of style show back up into WWE. Let me know what you guys think about this. I know I'm a little bit late to the uh, late to the show or whatever the saying is. Uh, I just happened to pick this up when it was on sale. Um, I wasn't super interested in getting it until it went on sale and Lo and behold, five bucks is a pretty decent price. This is definitely it. Honestly, now that I have it in my hands, this was worth the twenty bucks that they would ask for this figure, let alone five bucks that I looked out with. Um, I I actually really like this. I'm gonna uh, set her up and use her in like some displays or whatever. Just she's she's cool. I I, I actually really 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 like this figure. I'd give it um. If I'm going to give it a score, I'd give it like a 7. 7 seems fair. This is a pretty solid figure. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know, do, do you have the rest of the wave? I mean, there's... Uh, gosh. There's Triple H. There's uh, X-Pac. Um, there's Road Dog, Billy Gunn. The, the whole DX wave is out. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's that.